Hello. Oh, good afternoon. How are you today? I'm okay, thank you. How are you? Very good, thank you. Long time no see. <laughs> How have you been? I don't. I bought all the new things. Oh, nice. Well, those are cool. They are not uh, Air Maxes, right? What's the What's the name of that? Air Jordans. So you bought the um, oh very recently 16. That's uh, last week. There's a go. They're pretty expensive as well, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, they look good. <laughs> How do you feel? Are they comfortable? You know, I want I want to make people in the streets to make make me think of I'm rich. <laughs> right, right. Uh, to make people think that you're rich, right? That's a good shoe for it. <laughs> so it's a very like uh, unique design for the shoe. Do you feel comfortable wearing? I don't. How do you um, explain that to mm. oh. mm. the, Not the design? The design. Yeah. Oh, how would I explain the design? So... So the word air is what we call it like patched on the side mm -hmm. in white. So we can use like that, right? So uh, we can start with they. So they have the word air patched on the side in white mm -hmm. so we can do it like that with the word inside person yeah and then there's also like a little bit of a stripe at the bottom right mm -hmm. they're very unique design aren't they mm -hmm. but they're in, in the photo they're completely white but it has a little bit of color doesn't it yeah there's like a little bit of color around you can't see from the photo here mm -hmm. there's a little bit of color those are pretty cool. It says 96. Were they like an older um, design? Version. Yeah, more up tempo version 96. Oh. I see, I see, I see. It says navy, the color. Is it navy or? I don't. Black? Black and white. Oh, right, right, right. So the color has nothing to do <laughs> with it. Yeah. I see, I see, I see. They look quite good. They're, they're very unique sort of design, aren't they? Which design do you prefer? This one or the one you bought last time? The one you bought last time is quite a more classic in a way. Hmm. I don't... Oh, I don't... Only I don't... One month ago. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, I couldn't just it, 400 sneaker for one, only one month. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so in this case over here, would, do you prefer this one then that you bought now? It, uh, only one month passed since I bought a uh, $400 sneaker, I bought another new expensive sneaker. Mm -hmm. So very, very expensive purchases together right <laughs> so now you have two sort of like big pairs of sneakers right I like I like the design choice you're making yeah you, you're making some good choices with the sneakers is there any other sneaker that you want to buy next that your eye on because they're very different one from the other right Mm. Oh, 
pretty sure the last time you, you were by did it arrive already? Mm -hmm. the, I've never seen the CD in Japan. The, the the case, that's interesting. The case. Have you been playing it? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it? I imagine it's been a long time since you've played it. Fight on, fight on, tough one. Fight on, tough one, really. The remake? Remake. 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 Some of the modern consoles, right? This is. It's not official, is it? This demo is made by only one person. The purpose of the demo is to bring awareness to Capcom. Oh. Something weird is going on here. That's a very interesting, I like the, the style of the remake, it's kind of the, um, like the modern Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 remakes. Why doesn't Capcom, why doesn't Capcom remake the Dino Crisis I know. for PS5? I know, it, it's, it's, um, it's still a very popular title, isn't it? Like a lot of people still like uh, Dino Crisis quite a lot. I don't know why they don't bring it back. It's been uh, even um, for the PS4 and so on. They haven't released it again ever. It's been PS1, PS2, PS1, PS1, right? I don't know why they don't release it. Especially making a remake would make quite a lot of money, I think. But This is pretty cool, so this is a full remake? I went to Tokyo. Oh, uh. Did you went to a different restaurant? Mm -hmm. Oh, so we, our last lesson, when was it? I think our last lesson was. Oh, so quite long ago. Oh, the one you told me about. You went there. How was it? Could you put it really at the Over here. Uh, so since it's founding in 1973 in Ginza, Tokyo, Losia? Lo Losia. Losia. So Losia has served diners from Japan and around the world. Uh, thanks to their patronage and the support of the producers and partners, Logia ce celebrates its 50th anniversary in 2023. Uh, Logia's vision lies in its tradition choreographed by executive chef Olivier Chénon. Olivier Chénon. Chénon. And it's in sustainable gastronomy. We believe that without protecting our beautiful environment, it would be impossible to obtain beautiful ingredients or pass on our beautiful culinary culture to future, future generations. Join us for a moment of elegance, radiance, and culinary beauty. That's pretty interesting concept as well. It's sort of like sustainable food as well. Is it the, the dining room? Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks, it looks like a hotel lobby. <laughs> That's really, really fancy. And you went there two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago. Oh. 
sweet delicacy trolley. So it would feel, um, uh, how can I say it? Like you can choose the desserts you want? Mm. It is French, I don't know. I don't know which language is this. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it is a mixture of things, isn't it? Like a mousse bouche is French, like the entry appetizer. Uh, and then could I have a shrimp, French Malina with herbs, cauliflower, mousseline. Yeah, it, it's it's a, a combination of English and French, right? Salmon or vinegar and crustaceans juice with quince vinegar. And kinky cook on aromatic herbs and season a hint of timut pepper. Turn it mousseline with Bhutan turmeric, citrus fruit, juice of caramelized fish bones with lemons. Mm. And then veal chop from Brittany, uh, roast crispy, crispy sweetbreads, potato, uh, what's you beaten? Mushroom. Mm. Carrot bergamot fish salads with rubena berry, juice with margarine leaves. Pre dessert, perinusu, sweetly citroy, and coffee. Well, it's kind of a um, uh, French Japanese mixture, like fusion cuisine, isn't it? So you had this mm. menu over here. Oh, and these are the photos. So that's the kumeri shrimp. Oh wow! That looks really, really nice. And this is the king. So this guy didn't understand it. Hint of timid pepper, turnip muslin, we put on turmeric, so just switches come out, which was with lemon. Oh! Was it a fish, fish dish over here? Oh! And this is the veal chop from, from Britain here. Where is the carrot burger? So the veggies and mushrooms. Oh! How was the taste of it? It, it seems very like a lot of herbs mm -hmm. and like very aromatic was it strong the taste was it really unique? this this external sound is only celebrity only celebrity uh, version of sports uh, baseball player is mm -hmm. only allowed to enter this restaurant mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so the food is quite um, quite unique right Creeper oh. explaining what do I say at Mmm. So uh, you can say it's an exclusive restaurant. An exclusive restaurant. It's like this. So it's an exclusive restaurant. Restaurant serving mostly. Uh, you said baseball players? It was sports player. Oh, sports players. I apologize. So mostly sports. Uh, let's use a more natural word. Athletes. So we mostly sports athletes. Uh, Alex. So, um, celebrity position. Oh, so sports athletes, politicians, and what about using this? Expression. Uh, high society people. Hmm? So high society people. So kind of like people in important positions. In this case, yeah. An exclusive restaurant is what you can use to give this idea like very difficult to get into. I don't want yeah. ordinary ordinary people, mm. normal people is not allowed to enter this restaurant. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you, how did you get a reservation? Uh, oh. I'm living in some kind of, you know, quite exclusive, rich society. Mm -hmm. I see, I see, I see. Did you go by yourself with your parents? Oh, so, no. mm. Only by myself. For yourself? It must be quite nervous, right, to go to a restaurant like this. It's, it looks quite fancy, I would say. But the menu looks really, really, really nice, yeah. 1973. Mm -hmm. 51 years ago. Oh, you got a photo of the chef! Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. 
There he is. <laughs> you gotta we gotta follow with them. Congratulations. Chris Bird for me. Ace profile. Mm -hmm. Olivier Chagnon. Uh, my aim is to create Lochia's unique, innovative taste while preserving Lochia's tradition and the ancestors of French cuisine. Um, using the finest ingredients sourced from Japan and France, executive chef Olivier Chagnon creates inimitable, ooh, inimitable and exquisite harmonies of delicate tastes and textures out of innovative and highly original combinations. Um, Chagnon was appointed Lochia's executive chef in 2013 after a career at renowned establishments, including Telegon and Pierre Rainier Paris, he first came to Japan in 2005 as the executive chef of Michelin. Oh, Pierre Gagnon, Gagnon, I think, at Tokyo. He was awarded two stars in Le Guide Michelin Tokyo 2015 to 2018 and chosen Go Emilio Tokyo 2017 Chef of the Year. And awarded three stars in Lagarde Michelin 2019 in Tokyo. Also, it has two, three, four, so it's three Michelin stars mm -hmm. and Chef of the Year. So, very, very famous, a very um, awarded chef. Did you have a, a, a chat with him? Oh, yes. How mm -hmm. was he to he, talk to? He speaks he speak normal Japanese. Oh, really? I mean, he's been in Japan since, is it 2005? Mm -hmm. So, almost 20 years he's been in Japan, right? So his Japanese is pretty fluent. Mm -hmm. oh. So he had a little chat. What did you ask him? What did you do? I don't. I don't. I'm living in some kind of uh, special society, so I, I was allowed to enter this restaurant. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that you can meet him. Sweet dragon. Oh, that's a the delicacy trolley, right? So a lot of different kind of chocolates and sort of like fondue, I guess. Starting by yourself. How to explain that? Oh, uh, self-service. I don't know. For free. For free, yeah, yeah. So, um, combine the two ideas. Self... Oh, I don't know. Stop um, putting your dish on. Oh, right, right. So, no self-service. No, 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 no. So, it's... Uh, all you can eat. Cart. So you can choose and the staff will bring it to you, is it? Is it the table side? I don't know. When the main course is over, mm -hmm. staff bring this cart to me. They bring the cart, yeah. Uh, you can say the uh, bring the cart uh, table side. So like leave it next to the table over here to eat, yeah, so table side. Mm. What can what desserts were there? I can see some chocolates, maybe some uh, cookies as well. Maybe truffles? Chocolate um, fruits and vinegar. Mm. Mm. Maybe like a little bit of fondue, right? Some truffles. That's a very nice selection. And I imagine the chocolates were from me made in the restaurant or from it all. Maybe in the um, Paris or mm -hmm. Paris or their version. Mm -hmm -hmm. Maybe Godiva chocolate. Right, right, right. So by a famous chocolatier, yeah, right? Ah, uh, were they good? Did you try oh. them? I was such a bit only taking photos, so I, <laughs> I didn't eat it. You didn't eat it? I see, I see, I see. Well, it looks quite good, and it's a big service. I mean, bringing the entire cart table side and, and you know, all you can eat, that's quite a big service, right? So, altogether, it's 
pretty uh, pretty good meal, I'll say, mm -hmm. for the price. Yeah. I'm glad to hear you were satisfied with it. <laughs> Did you like the taste of the dishes? Were they strong? Were they mm, French cuisine, very difficult to explain. I know, yeah. The, there's a lot of um, like sauces and herbs and vegetables. So it, it, the, the flavor is quite mm, not strong, but there's a lot of different flavors at the same time. Have you ever eaten French cuisine? Yeah, back in Portugal, sometimes. Sometimes I ate French cuisine. I, I, I do prefer meat in French cuisine, fish. Sometimes the sauce is a little bit too much for me, yeah. <laughs> but seafood is also good. French seafood is quite good, yeah. Although I've never had, like, it's not like expensive, but casual restaurants that I've been to in Portugal, yeah. This one looks really nice. Which one was your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Can choose. <laughs> Let's discuss. Finally, we will discuss about mm. how can I book book to enter this restaurant. Mm. This, this restaurant only allowed to enter. I don't, um, high society. High society. Mm. Celebrity position. Mm. Sports athletes. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to. I'm very curious. How how did you how were you able to book it? I'm living in some kind of this in this world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So did you uh, call the restaurant directly? How how was the process to book it? I called this restaurant three, two or three times before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to make the booking. Mm -hmm. So you have to make the booking by phone, or do you have to go there? Mm -hmm. Booking by phone. Booking by phone. Uh huh. How is the the process usually to getting this? Do you, do you pay before going? Do you pay after? Uh, paying yes. is after after meal. After the meal, uh -huh. And how is the booking process done? Mm, I talk to the staff. Mm -hmm. mm, normal normal people, normal person is cutting off the phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see, yes, I see. So then you may take this up and then you can then book mm -hmm. the table. Mm -hmm. How long is the wait if you want to book? Is mm -hmm. it like next oh. week or is there a waiting list? Oh. Very, very, very long time, for example, mm -hmm. one month or two months. Mm -hmm. So you booked it last month, I guess? Oh, I don't Even know. before? Maybe, maybe it was August. August? It's quite a while ago mm -hmm. that I had to book it for. Oh. Was it full when you went? Uh, I have to wait two or uh, three months. It's mm -hmm. quite a long time. Right. Mm -hmm. How was the environment? Did you see anyone that you recognize around? I don't know. are very Chinese or Korean. Mm -hmm. They are very Chinese and Korean couples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I recognize by the language they speak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They speak uh, Mandarin and uh, mm -hmm. Korean or Chinese. Chinese, huh? Were there? Uh, so you said there's a lot, a lot of uh, Chinese and Korean couples. Mm -hmm. Were there also any Japanese couples or, or no? Mm -hmm. So pretty, uh, very well dressed, mm -hmm. very sort of like high class people, right? Did you go for dinner or lunch? Lunch. Lunch. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I imagine it's quite full, even lunch. I mean, I can see there's it's like all the tables have someone. Right? I see. I see. I see. Did you enjoy the experience? Mm, I was very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a very nervous racking experience, right? <laughs> Compared to now you've been to you know quite fancy restaurants, quite high class restaurants. 
Ch not just French, but uh, also Japanese, right? Mm -hmm. Is it similar, the service? Do you find it dif different? I've never been to this class high society restaurant. Mm -hmm. So the service is very different, do you feel? Or? Mm -hmm. oh. But the, the Japanese restaurants you've been to before, they were also quite high class restaurants, weren't they? Oh. It's a Japanese restaurant, isn't it? This is Fogra. Fogra. Oh, oh. Main steak. Mmm. Salad. Mmm. So the, I'm, the restaurant itself, like, it's also quite a high class restaurant, but it looks quite different, right? This one is a lot more sort of, mm -hmm. the service is a lot more fancy. That's very interesting. I imagine it's a really, really good experience mm -hmm. going to one of these, isn't it? Is there any, any restaurant that you are curious about going as well? Like especially for cuisine, I've always been interested in um, Scandinavian cuisine, so Northern Europe cuisine. They also feel like the the restaurant experience is really interesting, really sort of nice. Mm. Oh, I don't. Mm. This summer, I went there. I went to expensive restaurant and order expensive clothes. Course and the chef came to my table at the time. Mm -hmm. Then we go to a fancy restaurant to have to have the chef to come to our table to greet us. We are required to spend at least two hundred dollars on a meal. Mm -hmm. So the photo of me and the chef together proved that I ordered an expensive meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. So there's like a minimum requirement. The um the one you went to Logier was it everyone can meet the chef or is it you still have to order that yeah, kind of stuff? One or two person of out of uh, one or two person out of ten mm. groups of people. Right, 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 right. I see, yes, I see. So not everyone meets the meets the chef, right? That it, that's quite interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that, to hear that you can meet the chef there, and he, he looks quite nice. And also, you know, being a French chef, but he also speaks Japanese, that's good. You can also have a little bit of a chat. He looks very much like a French chef, doesn't he? He's, he's like, looks very French chef-y. <laughs> Building, building also looks nice. I imagine it was m like inside a big building in, in Ginza, but it's it seems like it's not inside a big building, it's like its own building, isn't it?
I still don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, I I imagine her schedule and all that um, translated by the translator. Oh, uh huh. I know this. Um, this uh, events uh, uh-huh. schedule for the schedule. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Japanese are um, translated by translator. You read translator. Could you please read? Sure, sure. Okay. Um. So as a schedule, okay. So I uh, spent the day gradually preparing at the hotel before the performance night, and confirmed belongings for the next day. In the morning, I arrive at the studio by car driven by the staff. In the meeting room, review the schedule and meet with the staff. Stretch and change into t-shirts and shorts. One hour before the performance, change into the mermaid costume and get ready. A professional dresser will help with makeup. Ten minutes before the performance, change into the mermaid costume again. Put on sandals and move to the tank for the final preparations and photos. At 1 p.m., begin the live mermaid performance. Ah, so this. This one over here. Oh. At 1 p.m., sorry, the first performance will end at 2 p.m., one hour later. After the performance, take a shower. Relax and enjoy your time in the waiting room, changing into t shirts and pants. The waiting room is stocked with sandwiches, sweets, snacks, light meals, drinks, and juice. After an hour, check your smartphone, chat with the staff, and enjoy the light meals and snacks in the waiting room. Ten minutes before the second performance, change back into the mermaid costume and have your makeup done by the professional staff. At 3 p.m., head to the tank for the second performance. Follow the same routine as before. Take breaks in the waiting room and prepare for the third performance. By 6 p.m., all made per- mermaid performances will be completed. Once all performances are finished, take a shower in the waiting room. Then change into a t-shirt and shorts. The waiting room will be filled with a celebratory feast for kin- from catering services. Enjoy the feast for an hour with the staff to celebrate the completion of the performances. Finally, change clothes and reflect on the day with the staff before heading home. Uh, so I oh. imagine uh, I'm, I uh, imagine uh, I write this um, in Japanese. So imagine the, the schedule that she had for that day. Oh, oh, oh. That's interesting. How, how did you imagine the schedule? How did you like create this uh, idea? I I checked out of her uh, Instagram. Facebook and Instagram. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, this is not like just imagine, but you also have some reference mm-hmm. that you got, right? Oh, I'll put over here as an expression. So, uh, I referenced her Instagram and So she has a little bit, uh, you call it behind the, the scenes, mm-hmm. where she posts what she's doing. Oh, so they do the preparation beforehand and then they go in. You said, uh, so in here you put three performances, is that common? Maybe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. And one performance is one hour. That's quite long, isn't it, for a mm-hmm. performance? Is it an um, um, continuous without break performance? For maybe longing for one hour. Mm. Oh, it's a very very long time. I mean, in a, even in the video itself, um, I mean, she stays in the time for just as feels like four minutes, five minutes. Do you know how? She breathes? Does she hold the breath? No, she... This dreams, she's going up... Oh! Going up, down, going up and down, going up and down. Oh, I see, see. So it's open at the top, Mm -hmm. so she can breathe. 
It's a very interesting performance because you can't really see the top. So it does look like a very real, like she's underwater all the time. I really like it. It's an interesting way to like write down the schedule. What she must be doing. I like the fact that we included like the waiting room has snacks and she has like a meal after with the stuff. <laughs> Hopefully she takes a break each time, yeah. What do you think um, I, I imagine I'm write this in Japanese? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's an interesting schedule. It would be fun to see, like, you know, when she was doing the performance, to see that kind of behind the scenes, like a whole day from when she starts preparing to it. And it kind of makes you imagine how she might do it. So that's a, that's an interesting writing there. I quite enjoy it. I find the idea of like even an hour, that's an interesting, quite long performance. She is basically changing back into the costume often, yeah. Very really interesting, yeah. Is she still singing? Mm. As the main? Oh. She was singing uh, classical music? Mm. She was singing, yeah. But well, she's not going back to performance. Mm. I see, yes, I see. The performances were always uh, interesting, I would say. When was the last time she, she performed as a mermaid? Last year? 8.5 or 6 years ago. 5 or 6 years ago? Oh. It's quite a while now. Yeah, the advertisements are always quite annoying. Mm. Oh, this one is new, isn't it? Playing in hard. Ooh, hard is quite difficult, isn't it? Lots of games are quite difficult to play. Huh? Yeah, long time ago in uh, on uh, in Onyx.